What's going on there, Your Excellency? Well, I think they are, they are engaged what might call power struggle. It's nothing to do with payment of salaries and allowances. I had a meeting with uh, um, Jusun leaders, along with the leaders of the MBA, Nigeria, um, Nigeria Bar Association, and the state chapter, uh, the NLC, and they confessed that we were up to date in the payment of salaries and allowances, um, and that they are on strike because the national body says they should go on strike, that the judiciary should enjoy what they call a first land charge. I don't know what that means to anybody because nobody is getting a first land charge. If my budget was crafted on the basis of $78 a barrel and all a drop to $60 a barrel, and you see that I must release everything I have projected to spend, my projection of expenditure was informed by my projection of revenue. When there's a sharp and serious shock in your revenue side, you cannot meet your other, other, other cost. So um, if you are the chief judge of, of Edo State, he will tell you that Edo State government has never defaulted and we will not default. And today as we speak, if they work, they will get their pay. What I have refused to do, listen to what he's saying. Pay us some months. For what? You stayed at home. Talking politics. You didn't work and you want me to pay you. Because they are judicial workers, they are bound by law. They must be seen to respect the various uh, 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 um, trade dispute laws and labor law, which says that if you don't work, you don't get paid. When you walk out of your work, not out of any trade dispute, listen to what they're saying, that they had a judgment which says that money should be transferred to head of court. Is it the business of trade unions to fight for their employer? So what they're doing is self-help, that the judge issue another, directly state government to release money, and the state government has uh, refused to obey the order. And I ask them, when a court issues an order, and the order is not obeyed, which provision in the trade union law says that unions shall become an agency for enforcement of court orders? Because we are in a democracy. We cannot, we cannot allow unions. I'm a union man, and so I know the limits. Every other person can submit out of panicky, and we do things out of conviction. I don't reward blackmailers, particularly when you choose to be a general purpose vehicle. So they should not to... expect any pay whatsoever if they sit at home because they want to help the court enforce their law. The law, the law is clear. The law is very, very clear, and I will not violate the law. Uh, the sorry. law says when you are on strike, particularly on a frivolous strike such as this, you are not on strike because your pay is denied. The thing, you are not to strike because your allowances are, with, are withheld. You are not to strike because um, your promotion is denied. You are on strike because you are dealing with issues that have to do with how the three tiers of government relate. Your Excellency, just wait, quickly, wait, 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 wait. we need to move now, on. Now, the law is clear. The local if you government work employees. out of your work, if you work out of your work on your own, mm -hmm. we cannot compel you to work. But you can't stay in your house. I cannot take taxpayers' money. You must understand, it's not about me. I am defending system, right? I cannot take taxpayers' money paid by people who are laboring to work, market women, small shop owners, uh, other workers in the public service who are doing hard work, nurses, midwives, etc. And then I go and pay it to a judicial worker who choose to stay at home. What about the, not local, because government it was denied. Employees, Pardon? the local government employees? Okay, that's another matter. Every Tuesday. They can demonstrate every day. But first, separate these issues. So what and about I, I the local government employees? Yeah, I will speak to that. I need to conclude on this. <laughs> yeah, I do need to. That is to say, sir, the law is no work, no pay. I cannot compel you to work. You also cannot compel me to pay you for not working. If you opt to stay at home for six months, for six months you will not be paid. The Bible says that those who do not work are not entitled to food. So we must be clear on this. Those who work will be paid. If they return to work today, they will be paid tomorrow. But to think that I'm going to take taxpayers' money and give to JUSU members is to betray my out of office, and I will not. The court orders, if indeed there was a valid court order, if indeed they have the local standard to go to court, they should follow the court proceedings to enforce the court order. Trade unions are not vehicles for the enforcement of court order. If they convert themselves to one, then they'll burn their fingers. 
I'm not going to budge on this at all. Because it is issues of principle, it's matters of law, and it's about matters of ethics that trade unions should not allow themselves to be used by people external to the union in pursuance of their thing. Now, for the local, local government, government. Are they being used? For the, yes. They, yeah. they, they know. I have said so even at the National Council of States that it is very, very dangerous if anybody chooses to resort to self-help as they've done. The judge that issued this order knows that the proper parties were not before the court. If matters, if money is not being released to heads of court, who has the responsibility to go to court? I thought you had to move to the it should, be, it should be the head of court. It should be the head of court. But let me go to the issue of um, the, the point you made, because it's also very important, the local governments. I am pained that local governments are not able to pay workers in their employment. But to be honest, I cannot take the burden of paying workers employed by the state government and at the same time pay workers employed by local government. Every tier of government at least should pay the salary of its own employees. Now, the good news is that it is not all the local governments that are not up to date in the payment of salaries. There are some local governments that are up to date. But what I'm doing now, uh, last week, but for the uh, meeting we were invited to in Abuja, I've scheduled a meeting with all, each of the local government chairmen. But don't forget they are elected by their own people to please Let's have a conversation. Let's look at what comes to you. What are you doing or what can you stop doing so that you can free money right. to pay the local government? But however, it's important to point out that even as we say, as the, uh, people are talking about local government, the local government are also able to pay the salaries of their own teachers. Now, talking about priority, you have 10 employees. Some are teachers, some are working in your bureaucracy. We felt that whatever happened, we cannot afford a situation where our teachers are home or even if they are at work, they are, they are underfed and therefore they are not able to teach. If we can't deliver on any other thing, Tokyo of priority, I think that the education of the Nigeria child by a teacher that is well paid, well motivated, is non-negotiable. Right, and we have called the local government to ensure that in all that they do, the teachers in their own employment are paid. And as you so, can see, the primary school teachers are paid by those local governments. Two more things. But I can assure go. you, when I get back to Benin, this is issue and what to look at with each of the local governments and see how we can help them to advise them to re engineer their finances with a view to, to coping. Two more but things. they are also affected by the sharp drop Two more things in before revenue. We go. Yes.